So, um, about two weeks ago, the Wall Street Journal did a story on their front page about something that's been very important to me through college. Of course, I'm talking about My Little Pony. Yes. And <laughs> they found out that there's, like, tons of guys ages 15 to 35 who just love this show. And, like, in New York, they had BronyCon. Brony is beating bros who love ponies. There were 300 people who went to that. More locally, Kent State Bronies has 43 members. Um, you're probably wondering, why does a male college student have so many ponies? <laughs> the whole fandom just kind of seems to be just like coming out of nowhere. And besides from this being an entertaining show, I think that it's showing you exactly the things you need to know to survive in college. And um, I, I went to the Kent State Library to the friendship section, which is actually a real thing. And I found research supporting the lessons that they teach you in My Little Pony Friendship is Magic. So the first episode, it's about Twilight Sparkle. She's a unicorn. And all she wants to do is suck. She's found out that there is an evil pony trapped in the moon who's about to escape. And she's going to cause it to be night forever. And so she writes to her mentor, Princess Celestia, and says, we need to do something about this. And the princess replies, go to Ponyville and make some friends. <laughs> and she doesn't really want to do that. But she goes there, and she meets all of these ponies, and, real and realizes that when Nightmare Moon does escape from the moon, what she really needed to do was work together with her new friends to defeat her. As a college student, you're moving to a new place. You need to make new friends, and you're facing terrifying things even worse than Nightmare Moon, such as exams or presentations. Stuff like that. And you need friends to help you, give you support throughout that. And I'd, I'd like to point out that these ponies are at the same stage of development as you. They live on their own, away from their parents. They have to solve their own problems. Um, so, um, according to Suzanne Selzinger, who wrote the book Social Networks, um, having friends in college actually will increase your GPA it reduces your chance of dropping out, and it gives you this sense of belonging and self-worth that will make you perform a lot better. Um, so how exactly do you make good friends? And that's where this show comes in. Um, uh, Rob Weiss, who wrote uh, Doing Unto Others, shows that good friends are close, frequent, face-to-face -face relationships that you have every day. Um, and Twilight Sparkle's letters to the princess are showing you how exactly those relationships work. Um, so, in the book Friendship as a Social Institution, Suzanne Kurth is giving you the difference <coughs> between actual friends and friendly relations. Friendly relations, you just see them occasionally. You don't really know who they are as a person. They just kind of hit a stick with them. So, like, take Fluttershy. She, if, when you first meet her, you'd think she's just this nice, quiet pony. She loves animals. As you get to know her more as a friend instead of just an acquaintance, you re realize that under times of extreme stress, Fluttershy can wrestle a bear, take down a dragon several times her size, and win a staring contest with a basilisk as she is being turned to stone. Um, Another thing about having friends that Rob Weiss pointed out was that they affirm your self-worth. And that's where the cutie mark for series come in. I don't have them, but basically, a cutie mark is this emblem on a pony's blank, kind of like a tramp stamp. But, <laughs> yeah. Um, rainbow Dash has like this little rainbow lightning bolt. She got that the first time that she ever broke the sound barrier while flying her special talent of being awesome but they have to earn them. So the younger ponies don't have cutie marks. Um, but like when, when you're late getting one, the other ponies were making fun of them, but they realized they all had this common problem. There were like three of them that didn't have cutie marks. They came together and they started trying out new things, trying to find out what their special talents were. And that's what Rob Weiss was saying. They affirm your self-worth. They make you realize what you're capable of. Um, 
And then, um, in the book Rethinking Friendship by Ray Paul and Liz Spencer, they talk about the importance of trust, which is hugely important in this series. Um, you've got Rarity and Flourish out here, who are very close friends. Um, Rarity is a fashion designer. Fluttershy actually gets a modeling job, and since she's so shy, she doesn't want this job at all. Rarity wanted it, but didn't get it, so Fluttershy is afraid to say that she doesn't want this thing that Rarity wanted the whole time. They don't talk to each other about how they're really feeling, and as Rethinking Friendship proved, um, if you don't talk to your friends, it'll just destroy your friendship. Um, and Pinkie Pie also had a problem here. She's she thought that um, her friends didn't care about her anymore. She went horribly, horribly insane, had this schizophrenic breakdown, was having a tea party with inanimate objects and talking to them. We thought she was going to kill somebody. <laughs> but not being able to trust your friends can really affect you. And um, in one of the more recent season two episodes, Lesson Zero, um, it's about how you need to be there so that your friends can trust you. You'll definitely be able to relate to this. Twilight is late with one of her assignments to the princess, and she can't figure out anything. So she's freaking out to all of her friends. She needs to get a letter in, but doesn't know what to write about. And they all just say, that's no big deal. Don't worry about it. Twilight also goes insane. This is a theme in the series. They all go insane at some point. If her friends would have been there and accepted that this was a real serious issue, then that would have made things a lot better. Ponyville would not have been destroyed. <laughs> Again. Um, and then another huge thing is conflict management. Um, this is, these are not perfect relationships. They have serious issues that they need to overcome. Uh, one of Rainbow Dash's friends, Gilda, who's a griffin, um, she knew her a long time ago. She came back to Ponyville and wanted to be friends with Rainbow Dash again. Um, but she realized Gilda just didn't like any of her other friends and didn't want Rainbow Dash to be with them. And Rainbow Dash just started feeling horrible and guilty and realized she probably shouldn't be friends with Gilda anymore. And that's a very serious thing when you have to cut off a friendship and say that that person's just not doing anything. That's something that's important to your success. Um, but then there's also Applejack and Rarity. Like I said, Rarity is this perfectionist fashion designer. Applejack's a laid-back farm girl. You wouldn't think that they would get along at all, but um, they do what Alan Foley in the book Interpersonal Conflict Resolution talks about. They find win-win situations. They learn from each other. They give and take. And they actually have a really interesting, fulfilling friendship. And so when you're in college, you can be meeting a diverse group of people. Um, uh, Alan Philly says that the best kind of group to work with is one that's very diverse. There are all different attitudes and opinions and beliefs in this group. And that's what makes them work so well as friends. So. If you're willing to make the leap and start watching a show for little girls to teach you how to succeed as a college student, all of the episodes of My Little Pony Friendship is Magic are on YouTube. Hasbro does not care because we are buying the toys and giving them money. Um, and you can just watch them. They'll be uploaded as soon as they come out, pretty much, on TV. And since Kent State Bronies is taking over the main Amp Start campuses, there's never been a better time to join the herd.